Richard Romer, uh, recalling D-Day, he reached the Normandy coast before the landing crafts so he could see the beaches empty at dawn. He and his partner patrolled their route toward Cayenne and were following the Oran River back toward the sea when they caught the first glimpse of Allied troops on the ground alongside the gliders that had dropped them near the bridge at Blainville, which they were now taking from the Germans. Romer had not known about the troops and gliders. This was, quote, something electric and satisfying, quite dramatic for a 19-year-old, he said. Their mission then went back over the landing beaches. Now he was seeing the naval ships firing big guns at targets on shore and the landing craft opening to let soldiers slosh through water under heavy fire toward land. He was watching the Queen's own rifles from Toronto coming onto shore and being shot at himself. I was sharing the fire with them, but you don't think about that kind of thing because when you're in a battle situation, you're concentrating on your job, Romer said. It was around this time he noticed his fuel was drastically low, so he had to beeline back to Britain for the closest landing strip at Thorny Island near Portsmouth, where his engine quit while he was still on the runway. Quote, so it was a close call, but I was so excited by what I was seeing when I was involved in this operation on D-Day morning that I lost proper judgment in terms of looking at my equipment. I always wondered why, why this guy was so productive and uh, in, in so many different areas and uh, an accomplished author. Uh, I think that's one of those, uh, you, gotta, you, you escaped the Nazi uh, artillery, but you almost bought the farm just by not watching your fuel gauge. Yeah, you don't, you don't get a retake on that one. So. Uh, I think that would be a transformational moment and probably is a big part of what carried him, has carried him to the age 100. Okay, that'll do it for the weekly update this week. Uh, we'll be back again and I hope to see a bunch of you next week.